Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President of the United Arab Emirates, has created a master plan for sustainable urban development across Dubai over the next two decades. It mainly focuses on enhancing people's happiness and quality of life, as well as reinforcing Dubai as a global destination for visitors over the next 20 years and more. The plan has a strategic structural layout, integrating all urban development master plans in the Emirate and aligned it with Dubai's strategic economic priorities and the needs of the future of the region. Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan is the seventh development plan for the Emirate since the 1960s. Incredibly, between 1960 and 2020, the population of Dubai has multiplied by 80 times, from 40,000 in 1960 to 3.3 million now, while the urban and built area of the Emirate increased 170-fold from around 3 squared kilometres. A city which is built to house 40,000 people certainly is not appropriate for a city of over 3 million. Hence why Dubai is constantly changing, adapting and innovating. The plan will unlock new areas of the city, something that has happened in maturing cities all over the world. Once the centre of Dubai, the plan envisages a regeneration of older areas like Bur Dubai and Deira and repopulating them with Emirati families in locations where local families lived previously. The key objectives of Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan are to upgrade Dubai's urban areas such as Deira and Bird Dubai as we previously mentioned, Downtown and Business Bay, Dubai Marina and JBR, and two new centres, Expo 2020 and Dubai Silicon Oasis Centre. Improve the efficiency of its resource utilisation, develop vibrant, healthy and inclusive communities and double green and leisure areas to provide a healthy environment to residents and visitors. Provide sustainable and flexible modes of mobility, foster greater economic activity and attract foreign investments to new sectors, advance environmental sustainability, safeguard the Emirati's culture and urban heritage and strengthen citizens' attachment to older neighbourhoods, develop a comprehensive legalisation and plan a governance model to support sustainable development and growth. And the outcomes will be, by 2040, Dubai will have achieved the following Green and recreational spaces will double in size. Nature reserves and rural natural areas will constitute 60% of the Emirati's total area. Several green corridors will be established to link the service areas, residential areas, workplaces, the movement of pedestrians, bicycles and sustainability mobility means across the city will be facilitated. Land area for hotels and tourist activities will increase by 134% and for commercial activities it will increase to 160 square kilometers. Land area for education and health facilities will increase by 25%. The length of public beaches will increase by 400%. The plan also encourages mass transit use, walking, cycling and the use of flexible means of transportation, besides developing a comprehensive planning database to support decision making and enhance transparency. The plan also seeks to develop integrated sustainable housing complexes to meet the needs of citizens. Integrated communities will be developed according to the highest planning standards with green spaces, commercial centres and recreational facilities aimed at enhancing human well-being and quality of life. Dubai was once an oil-rich city which depended solely on this income stream. But as the oil supplies started to thin and as the world hopes to become less dependent on oil, Dubai must adapt. Hence why this city plans to become a global leader in technology, innovation and creative investments. If Dubai can go from this to this in a matter of decades, then where will Dubai be by 2050 and 2100? Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments section below what your thoughts are about Dubai. Drop a like if you haven't already and remember to subscribe. We've got plenty more to come. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next video.